Hey YouTube, how are we doing today? Uh, we're going to do a shave of the day. It's going to be a head shave. And I have about two and a day's growth on my head. And today we are going to be using my Captain's Choice. I like to call this the Statue of Liberty Bowl because it's the same color as the Statue of Liberty. We are going to use my Sterling, I guess this would be Butterscotch single ring bore brush. I like those because they already come without the funk of the brushes on them. Uh, I don't know if they treat them or, or what they do, but they don't come with any of the funk of a, na a brand new natural uh, hair brush. We are going to be using my 30s era Gillette open comb with the big ball on the end. And the soap for today is the Carnavis and Richardson's Porch Drink. Porch Drinks. The scents are coffee, cardamom, tobacco, blood orange, and bourbon. And we have the matching aftershave. I picked these up at the... Matt, man, that just smells so good. I picked these up at the Maggards meetup last weekend. And if you've never gotten a chance to go to the Maggards meetup, definitely go. It's worth the money and it's worth the trip. You get so, so many freebies. There's a nice pay it forward table that you can go to and pick up stuff that you may have never tried before. It's definitely worth it. Um, things are going well in my world. Uh, the countdown to the wedding is on. The wedding is on October 6th. And... Time seems to be flying by very, very fast. So, we've got a nice load here for the shave soap. Gonna get my brush a little bit wet and we're gonna see how this lathers. Not really drinking much of anything today. I have some Stella. Actually, let me go grab one real quick. I'll be back in just a second. So, the drink that we have today is Stella. Mm. I do love that Stella, man. It's so good. So, we're going to add a little bit of water to this. This seems to be a very, very thirsty soap. So, I am just lathering it up now. I'll tell you, this Captain's Choice Bowl, these things are great. And there's an amazing thing that I noticed the other day about them. They fit a Barrister and Man and Phoenix uh, container almost perfectly. I think that they might have done that on purpose, to be honest with you. But, I'm not one to know for sure. All I know is, is I like the bowl. 
Green is one of my favorite colors. So anytime I can get anything in the color green, it's always a bonus for me. Because... Ooh, look at that. So yes, this soap does lather very exceptionally. And... Here we go. Things in my world are doing good. Uh, just... I have the day off today. I haven't made a video in a while. I do apologize about that. But... Life happens, you know. You get busy. This soap, this aroma is much more potent in the soap form than it is when you're lathering it. I'm noticing that. It's it's not as robust of a scent when you're lathering it on. Now, what it will look like after I've lathered it in and started shaving, I don't know. But this stuff just lathers so good. To me, this stuff is on par with Douglas's soaps and with Will's soaps at Barrister and Man. Those are two of my favorite soaps. I have also really, really love Sterling. That is the Pharaoh's Dream Sickle. It smells very much like Orange, Orange Dream Sickle. And the Parasso Sandalwood. That is my go-to everyday soap of choice. Um, it just feels good. The slickness on it is amazing and it's just a wonderful wonderful soap so here we go open comb gillette with a astra superior platinum razor i don't normally use open combs on my head uh, I notice that they tend to be a little bit more aggressive than I like but they do get a close shave the razor I usually use is my short handled Gillette black handle slim adjustable which is my pretty much everyday straight razor. Like I said, these tend to be a little bit more aggressive than I'm used to because I think the, uh, the setting that I use on my Gillette is three to a number four, depending on the day. Excuse me. And for me, being a head shaver, I think that is the perfect setting. This thing just mows down hair though. This is actually my first time using this. I picked this razor up off of eBay. I really enjoy collecting vintage Gillettes. I also have a gold open comb that's similar to this one. But it has a stress fracture in it along the handle. And I don't know if that has the ability to be fixed. 
So if anybody knows, please send me a message if anybody can fix that because I would love to get that fixed back to its glory. So far this razor is actually shaving really really well. Much better than the other open combs I've used in the past. Maybe there is something to older is better. I don't know necessarily if that is true. And nick myself slightly right there, but I always nick myself right around there. I'm gonna get these edges here real quick. Right along my ear line, which these drive me crazy. Yeah, oh yeah, I nicked myself a little bit good there. Lately I've been trying to shave my head about every two days. And notice I get a closer shave that way. If I have time, try to do it every two days. All right, pass one is down. I usually try to go for two to three passes, depending on the day, usually. Um, I notice with two to three passes, I'm getting it about as close as it's going to get. So I just need to lather this up just slightly a little bit more. And here we go on pass two. This soap lather is really good. I don't know if it's me or the soap itself or if it's the razor. But the slickness doesn't seem to be quite as profound as, say, my Parasso or the Barrister and Man or any of those others. I don't know why. Maybe it's me. I don't think it's the soap, I think it's user error. It's generally what that is, is user error. After I'm done shaving, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I picked up from the... Uh, I'll show you all the things I picked up from the Maggard's meetup. And I got quite a bit of stuff. That, that meetup was amazing. My first time going to it. I will... Definitely be going back next year because the amount of stuff that you get is well worth the amount of money you spend on going to it. I think I spent $12 going to it. And I think I got probably $150 worth of samples. And there was just some really amazing stuff on the PIF table that I picked up too. A couple things I couldn't pass up. Uh, oh shit.
This Astro Blade in here is just a whisker destroyer. Or in my case, not whisker, but a hair destroyer. Uh, so far, out of all the blades I have used, and I picked up a sampler pack from Maggards uh, about a year ago when I was there. I think it came with a couple dozen different uh, razors, seven, seven or twelve different razor blades. And I've been trying them out ever since. And I set aside all the ones that gave me the best head shave. And then I picked up those two or three again. Tried those, and of those, I picked the winner. And the winner was the Astra Superior Platinum. Uh, I don't know if anybody else uses it for their head, but man, I'll tell you. Those razor blades are just fantastico. Just fantastic. Yeah, this razor, man, is a little bit more aggressive than I might like. I've used open combs in the past, and I know not all razors are created equal. So I was trying it see how I liked it and I don't know there's just something maybe it's not I'm not using the right open comb I would like to one day get my hands on one of the Phoenix open combs Delta DOC's but right now with Saving up for a wedding and paying that off and bills. I just right now can't afford to get a Phoenix double open comb. Much as I would like it, I just I I can't wrap my head. That's a hundred plus dollars I can be using for things for my wedding. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, you know, it's an important day. And I would rather see, don't get me wrong, as much as I like spending money on shaving gear, as the old saying goes, happy wife, happy life. Um, I have that wedding. Good chunk of it paid for already. Because for the first time in my life, I've actually had to be smart with money. Not that that's a bad thing either. I just... When I was younger, I, I guess I just really didn't focus on money management. And when, oh man, I really nicked myself on the back of my head apparently. I just never really focused on money management when I was younger. Um, it's not that... I was poor or couldn't pay for things, but any extra money that I had growing up, I would spend because I was a single guy and I honestly did not think I was going to find 
the love of my life. It's just one of those things that kind of falls in your lap, I guess. No, it did, actually. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to me, to be honest. Um, I love her. She loves me. That's all we really care about. We, we're not a... We're not doing a traditional wedding by any standards, and that's what we want. We're trying to keep it as traditional as possible, but still fit it within how we want our wedding to go. And, you know, it, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Sorry about that, I kind of just went on a tangent about love and and all that. I don't know if necessarily anybody on here wants to hear about that, but to kind of give you an insight oh, and background in my life a little bit, um, that's uh, basically how I feel. can't talk about anything else on YouTube that strikes my interest because I make a rule for myself and my life that when I'm in mixed company, I don't talk about politics or religion. And there was one other that you don't talk about. I forget what that is, and that's going to be enough of that. So, that was basically, I guess you, I would call that a two and a half pass shave. Um, I'm going to let that head dry a little bit. I'm going to apply... This smells like bourbon. It smells like whiskey. It smells awesome. Can't wait to put this on my head. People are gonna think I'm uh I've been drinking. But that won't be it at all. It'll ugh, oh man. It'll just be my aftershave. That uh Burned a little bit. Did not expect that. I think that actually burned more than some of the other uh, alcohol-based aftershaves that I have. But man, if you could smell this. I don't know. It, that just smells so good. I wish you all could be in my bathroom right now smelling that because that just smells amazing. By far one of the most... aromatic aftershaves that I own that are not by Douglas or Will. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how long it lasts. Because, and to steal Doug's saying, his aftershaves have the staying power of Barry White. They do last all day. Literally all day for his aftershaves. My head will smell like that aftershave. Alright, so now on to the show and tell portion of the show. After I went on my little rants there that I went on to big thing I got was the shave stand. Holds two razors and two brushes. Both of these brushes are brand new for me. I picked those both up at the uh, Maggard's show. Last, was it last weekend or the weekend before? Within the last two weeks. I, can't, I think it was 
it was two weeks ago, the 13th. It was that day. That Captain's Statue of Liberty bowl, I got that. The porch drinks, I picked that up. Um, I picked up the new Barrister and Man Reserve Classic to match the aftershave that I already had. And this aftershave, man, or this soap, I'll tell you, if you want, like, a refreshing aftershave scent, go with this. And this thing is literally filled dang near to the top. It's very quite full. Really, really full. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, one of the pay it forward things that I got was the 42 aftershave that I've been missing for my 42 soap because I am the type that likes to have matching aftershaves and matching soaps. It's just one of those things for me. Okay, the back of my head is good. I'm not bleeding all over the place. Another one that I picked up was Pharaoh's Dream Sickle. I can't wait to try this. Cannot wait. I already have, in puck form, the Sterling Bay Rum. That's really good. I really, really enjoy Bay Rum. Um, one of the other pay it forward things I got was the Chiseled Face Orange Cream Sickle. I cannot find that soap anywhere. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to find it. So, I have to work with what I got. Alright, we're, oh yes, there that one. One of the uh, samplers that I picked up was Douglas's Just For The Show. Can't get it anywhere. It's called Olive Branch. And it came with the matching aftershave. So he's, he said that Olive Branch is very similar to his other shave soap called First Dew, which is one of his regular shave soaps that he makes. The only difference, I guess, between the two are that Olive Branch uses white chocolate and First Dew uses black chocolate, or, or not black chocolate, dark chocolate. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've never used them before, but the Sudsy Soapery, it's their Spearmint and Eucalyptus with Green Matcha. This smells awesome. I'm trying to find a good aftershave to match. If anybody has any recommendations, please let me know. And this soap, guys, is very, very soft soap, but... Smells amazing, and that's what it looks like. The color may be off-putting a little bit, but that's the matcha tea in there, I believe, is what makes it that that brownish color. Um, like I said previously, I am a sandalwood nut, so I have a tube of sandalwood already in Paraso. And I picked up a tub of the Red Parasso. And I picked up a limited edition sandalwood aftershave by Chatillon Lux. It is called Santal Auster. Which I actually picked up more of this from their online website when they put it up for sale on Saturday. <coughs> I can't wait to try that. Another one that I picked up was the Katie's Bubbles Maggard's Meetup Shave Soap. That was another one of the samples. The aroma of this, I can't really place it, 
but I'm gonna try that. It smells good. I just there's a lot going on with it. Um, but I am going to try it, and I'll give it a fair go. Uh, let's see, what else did I pick up while I was there? I got a bunch of samples of other soaps. Let's see, I was able to get a Old Spice bowl. The Through the Fire Neroli Soleil Soli Soleil That smells really good. Uh, let's see what else. Sorry guys. see what else. I picked up some of the L&L Grooming Mayflower and the Matching Aftershave to match. That smells fantastic. That's what it looks like. You're just a little sampler to throw in a bowl and lather it up and try. Sorry, I'm giving you guys a shot of my beard. I'm sure you don't want to see that. I also picked up a sample of the Captain's Choice number 13. That scent is amazing. I wish I could get some matching aftershave for that, but that's what that looks like, Captain's Choice number 13. Uh, the Captain's Choice and Bonnie, which another really, really good aroma that I can't wait to try one of the samplers of. Shannon Soaps Limited Forest City Fern. That smells great. All of these are just like really, really fantastic scents. Black Ship Grooming, they're classic, and they're White Whale.